So the first one I'll sh be showing is Hillbine from my Cooper Pastors model pack. And I was trying to go for like a Viking style. So I didn't want to be like the other hair brines, I wanted to give a little bit more detail, I suppose you could say. But this is what I've got for hair brine. The hair is movable, so you can animate in the wind. It's got a ponytail, which is also animatable. Beard, not animatable, but it is pretty nice to look at. Um, eyelids, I am actually planning on changing these as I found a better technique so hopefully these will be updated and improved um papers animatable and it's got like different bends um six different bends we've also like you know the usual arms we've got like the armor axe for some reason this looks like a skull which i've done by accident even though it's supposed to be a cross might quickly screen share my cursor so you can actually see what I'm talking about. But these look like the eyes, and that looks like the nose, and then it looks like the skull. I don't know how I've done it, it was done by accident. I was trying to go for the cross, but I somehow managed to do that. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, the arms can bend like any other body part. Uh, you also got a little uh, the hand body can bend, got the waist which has a belt on it and we've also got legs and we've got the foot but yeah I'm pretty proud of how this turned out considering this is like a different style of hero brand which is quite hard to do but managed to successfully um what's the word execute it the next one I want to show is um, my improved FNAF 2, but there's an animatronic that you've not, well, a few animatronics that you've not seen me make yet. But right now, well, right here we have um, Endo 02. Um, his ears can move the same way. He can open the eyelids. And you can bend them to give expression. I've made it so you can change the material of the pupil like three different ways. I think it's this one. I think it's that, and they got to like, increase the mix over here. You can change three different layers of the pupil to give it a more eerie look or more cool look. I don't know what you want to do with it. Um. Eyes, if you toggle those off, you can see the endo pupils underneath. Both jaws can move. <coughs> yeah, both jaws can move. This one can move the most, obviously. Um, the arms, they can move and bend. And then the unique part about the fingers in the FNAF 2, which I should hopefully update on the FNAF 1 animatronics, is if I select the thumb and the fingers, which I'm going to slightly move a bit so you can see, if you select them all, you can bend them all. And think, yeah, you can also rotate them all the same way, roughly, but I think the bending part's pretty cool. Um, body can move like usual. Like any other thing. Waist can be moved, legs can be bent and moved, and um, feet can be moved, and the toes can be moved and bent. So if you want to make him stand or if you want to like on his tiptoes or whatnot, you can. Depends how you pose him, I suppose, or animate. The next one I want to show is. Unwithered Freddy. There's nothing in the Toys Animatronics yet, but I'll soon get onto that. But we have Unwithered Freddy Fazbear, which I'm really proud of. Same as like Endo O2, like open the eyelids, bend, you can change colour the pupils, ears bend the same way. 
and then with Freddy, you can tilt his head or whatever you do. Um, open the jaw, and then you can also open the endo jaw. And then if you want to, you can select the endo jaw, whatever it is, and it will be fine. Um, body can move, you can also like rotate his bow tie and little bits on the side. Arm can move, fingers do the same thing as Ender O2s. Waist, legs, this one you can't bend the toes on. There's, a, there's feet. But yeah, that's it for uh, Freddy. Next one I want to show is Withered Freddy. I did nicely on the textures, I think. Tried to make it look a little bit more withered, so I tinted the eyes a little bit yellow. But yeah, everything the same as like Freddy, like Unwithered Freddy. Just um, extra wires that you can bend and animate. So they do have quite a few bends, just so like. They have a smooth bend and it gives it a certain effect on posing or animating. Bow ties, yeah, bow tie, yeah, bow tie still moves. Is it bow tie? Yeah, it's bow tie. Did sound like at first, but bow tie can move. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention you can also move the buttons. But yeah, everything's the same for withered Freddy, and with yeah, unwithered and withered Freddy. The next lot I want to show is T Jock animatronics, but like the Endos and Freddy. Uh, there it is. Uh, Fallen Endos. Fallen Endo A. So it still has the exact same functions as Endo O2, just some bits are missing, like the ear, for example, and the jaw. But yeah, I added quite a bit of detail onto this. Those can still be bent. Fingers still work the same. But yeah, that's it for Endo. Uh, what was it? Endo B. Next one will be Fallen Endo R. Exactly the same. You can also bend the wires. They have like three different bends, so it's like more freedom, I suppose. Blur jaw can be moved. Legs can still bend, feet can bend, and everything is still the same. Just obviously some parts are missing. Uh, next one is Ignite Freddy. I think I did really well on the textures. Eyes can open, you can still give them expressions and whatnot. Yeah, still moves. Oops. Yeah, still moves. Still move the bow tie and the buttons. Arm still bends. This one doesn't have any fingers. But still has the wires that you can bend. Even for the leg. Even Same with uh, Withered Freddy, I forgot to mention. But yeah, you can animate the wires. Next one I want to show is a model that I am still working on. Just one of my OCs called Dead Eyes. I'll show an image of what my reference is. Just a random Roblox character that I made, and that's the only screenshot I've got of it. But I've had to like improvise a little bit with the clothing. I've had like a did a rough layout of where I want the clothing. I'm gonna add detail onto it later. But it's got like skull mask, it's got some badass hair. It'll kinda anime like, which I wasn't really expecting. Or like kinda looks like Sonic the Hedgehog to me for some reason. But yeah, uh, for this like you can like bend the arms. Also has a wrist. Fingers. I also made it oh yeah, you can also rotate the hand. But the fingers are quite unique. Um, I'll select them real quick. 
But may I say they all bend the same as well, and then they all rotate. Oh, maybe not all rotate the same. Oh, no, 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 yeah, they all rotate the same, just different width angle. But yeah, and then, as usual, three bends for the these fingers, and then, then two bends for this one. Body bends. I think yeah, there's another one. Uh, it has a waist. Legs can be moved and bent. Has an ankle. Can move the shoes around. Also made it so they're kind of like boots. So I've added extra block underneath. And then I also made it so his face is quite scarred. And so I want to make it seem like he's been through a few battles and then this eye's pretty much kind of blind. Hence why it's a little bit more desaturated. I think that's the word. I also made it so you can like bend these and you can like express it. This is kind of what I want to do with Hero Brian. So um, hopefully I can get that on Hero Brian soon. And also made it so the lower eyelids, which I can't click on for some odd reason, but here, yeah, you can scale them. Can't bend them, but um, if you look at a human, you don't really bend them. They kind of just go up and down. I was trying to make it a little bit more on the realistic side. Yeah, that's what I've got for um, dead eyes. Oh yeah, and eyebrows. I forgot that they are. Yeah, forgot about the eyebrows, but yeah, the eyebrows can bend as well and can express them and whatnot. It's got some big eyebrows, thick eyebrows. Mask, it's like a skull, but it's like a gas mask at the same time. Yeah, I did pretty well on that, I think. And then the last one I want to show is actually my character, but a version 7. Some people hate it, some people like it. I personally quite like it. And now he's finally got hair. But yeah, you can bend the hoodie. The hoodie has two bends, two separate bends. Eyes made them a little bit more unique. So I made it so when you click on one card, you can actually bend both of them. You can like lower them as well, and you can't see the pupils on it. And then, well, unless you go too far, then obviously you'll see them underneath. It's supposed to be the alpha glitch, but made it so it's quite cartoony. Eyebrows, you cannot bend them, but you can rotate them. And then lower eyelids, same thing. Uh, they have a bend, so you can make them more expressive. Like, if you want to make them tired, you could probably do that. If you want to make them like, laugh or something, you could probably go that way, I don't know. The mouth, it isn't unique with the mouth. I made so when you go. Actually, before I show, I had to get a reference from a model because I was struggling how to do it. So I got a model and I only looked at how they did it. I didn't steal it. I tried to put it in my own modeling style. So I, I saw how they did it and then I did it. I basically executed it. And so that's how I learn. I don't like to steal. Just need a reference. But I made it so when you bend. This one specific folder, all of them bend. You can make them really happy, or you can make them really sad. And the reason why these two bend further than two of the other folders is so if you want to give them expressions, you can. And they'll still bend not the best, but it'll still keep its shape. Take care. <laughs> Um, each bit, well, the large bit of hair that's at the front here, like all of this, they all have three bends each in three directions, so you can like bend them all. And then the five, the little ones at the back here only have two bends. Is tried to make them a little bit more unique, and I'm pretty proud of how these turned out. Body you can bend, which is fine. Tried to make it so you didn't break it. Pretty strings can be bent as well. The only ones that can't be bent is these little bottom ones. 
so I wanted to make it a little bit more like on the realistic side as these should usually be solid plastic arms can bend as a wrist and can rotate and the same thing with um, dead eyes you bend you can bend and rotate the fingers a certain way like not that way this way but yeah and then like th and this one's only got four fingers I forgot to mention oops there we go it's only got four fingers we we'll to try and keep it pretty cartoony but yeah as I said um the main three usually have three bends and then the thumb usually only has two Then with this you can scale it so you can uh, put his hands in his pockets and you can like stretch this out a little bit. Uh, I might try and fix that bit. Yeah, so when you stretch it, it doesn't do that. Or I could just keep it like that and you could just do that. Just try not bend it too far. And this one has four pockets and they're all attached to the waist. And each pocket you can uh, scale as well. So if you want to put his hands in his pockets and stretch the pocket, you can. And bendable legs. He's got um, ankles. And he's got. Oh, yeah, and I also meant so you can bend his toes. So um, if he's standing a certain way. Um, he can bend his toes. A little bit weird, but it's there. Don't have to use it. Uh, did I miss anything else? I think that's it. And that's it for Happy Peep. And I'm going to quickly show his weapon off. There it is. It's just a bat. Well, you think it's just a bat. It's got a little trigger here. You may be wondering what that trigger's for. It's a shotgun. I also made it so when this pops up, the little cap, you have a little smiley face. So you see a smiley face and it goes kaboom. Thought it was a little funny twist. Now you make do the trigger and then pew pew. But yeah, that's um, Happy Peep's new weapon now. Instead of a gun and a, a picket knife. And now I didn't say that wrong. And it's just how I named it. Which was originally a typo, but I thought it was pretty funny, so I decided to keep it. That's pretty much all the models I wanted to show, so, um... Hopefully I'll start speed modelling soon, again. I've just been procrastinating about it. But hopefully I'll start doing those again soon. See yous later.